coming out for sure. So, yeah, this is amazing. Uh, Drew Roses and Nick Summer put this together. Uh, from Milwaukee and such. They asked me to be in it, so I was in it. You know, it's, to me, it's a job to them. It's their art, their life, and so on and so forth, because we all have our own separate lives. When people be coming up to you and saying, oh, isn't that great, isn't that fantastic? It's like, I'd be thinking, man, are you on LSD, man? It's like, this is crazy. I mean, just wake up in the morning and work hard and, and, and in a meaningful track, though. And if you're a farmer brown, and you're working in the wrong field, and that's going to suck when Katie the police. Uh, you gotta, you gotta think clearly with clarity, and it'll all work out. So they said, "Yeah, you know, come up here, talk for a couple minutes." And I mean, when these two dudes who are pensively but joyously standing there, staring bullets into me, <laughs> and I'm thinking I'm in Hollywood right now, and I've got an audience of about a hundred or so, I, I could say anything. So I'm just thinking what I could, and um, you know, I woke up this morning very empty, feeling I had betrayed uh, the entirety of my life, and then to remedy the situation, I got to writing, and I told myself I'll continue writing uh, on this particular project until it comes into a structured and final fruition. I always do that, and that will be done. The allegory being that's what these uh, fellows did, is they stuck to the case. I've already seen Shangri-La in Milwaukee, the Oriental, and I was stunned by the aesthetic precision and also the craft, the uh, adjunct craftsmanship. It's, a, it's in its complete form. There are no flaws in the sound design, no editorial blips or anything like that. I actually had, and then I'm, I'll, get to, I'll get you guys up here in a second. I did see a feature film on the big screen recently. I don't know which one it was, but there there was a mistake in the editing. There was a shot that just held from like about two seconds. You could see it was totally rhythmically um, out of sync with the rest of the picture. Not sound-wise, but in, in, its, in, in its tempo within the other scenes. So again, an allegiance to that. Uh, will be that these guys actually did a very competent job in, in editing, composition, and sound design, and all of that stuff. And uh, I, I, Lila made killer coffee this morning. Uh, we, I, we have a Mr. Coffee, but we're at someone else's crib right now, and it's a press machine. And she said something like it could be very, other times doing that could be very bitter, very, not good, but uh, she really made the best coffee this morning, so that is truly, truly a blessing. If we could all give Lila a round of applause for that. Woo! Okay, very cool. So then, this then ends the shenanigans, and I'd like to bring Drew Roses and Nick Summer, the heroes of the evening, up here. Up to you. We gave him two minutes. That was a little longer. <laughs> that's it. You put it up, took it upon yourself to bring me up here. So, let me see what Mike thank you. So, uh, thanks to everyone for coming up. Thanks, Mr. Mark Borchard, the legend, for flying out from Milwaukee to be part of this screening. And for being part of the project. Uh, it's a great uh, working with him and great character. There's tons of people in here that worked on this project. Yeah, I'm going to go and sit. Yeah, you, you, can, you can take your seat, take your seat. And yeah, we, you know, there's too many people here to thank everyone that, that worked